Okay, uh, so Nox is being an absolute prick right now, so uh, there's no audio coming out of my emulator, so you know, there's that. Um, yeah, let's just uh, let's just get in here. Uh, maintenance is about to go uh, is about to go down, so I, I gotta kind of like uh, do this right away as soon as possible. Um, hopefully, I don't get like booted out. So maybe we'll hit that tower. Um, we actually dropped down pretty far. Like we'll, we'll take a look right now. I'm just kind of looking around. I guess we'll just take down these two towers that are about to fall, and then that third one there. Um, yeah. Uh, so we actually got dropped down pretty far. So we're down in uh, 451st place. Like, gosh damn. <laughs> Talk about a fall from grace. Um, I guess we're doing pretty well. What's going on here? Well, we only got attacked once, so it's not really... Yeah. Uh, so there's not really a whole lot of point to attack the stronghold because nobody else is attacking it. Um, it's really only important to just take it down. Um, just hitting it for no reason isn't really going to help us out. Um, so I'll just go knock over some towers. Get uh, let's just get in here before we're running out of time. Uh, this team down here, I actually, I was watching Shuffle's tier list video, and he was talking about um, I forgot what we, what he was talking about. Um, what do we want here? Uh, we usually, I think, usually we, you want to take uh, what's her name here? Take you. Uh, do Cesarado? Oh yeah, that sounds perfect. He's around right there. He'll strip everything, and then we need somebody up here. Um, we'll go with the uh, with the healer, the good one. Uh, so down here, we're looking at uh, triple dark. Uh, what about you? And uh, you know, actually, I could just do SSB here, and then uh, like a healer. No, oh, where's SSB? Oh, there she is. Uh, so, uh, for those of you who saw the reveal of, of the new character, I think Landy is her name. <laughs> she does not counter. Uh, she does not proc counter attacks, which means that Ken is still getting jobbed. Um, yeah, Ken in 2020, uh, ML Ken in 2020 is such a meme. Um, I don't know how you would fix him though, because he's like, what, what do I want to put here? I guess I just need a healer, right? I can't bring. Um, yeah, I can't bring what's her name, Ruel, because she's gonna die. Um, let's just bring. I really hope this is actually picking up my microphone stuff too. I'm not just like talking into nowhere. Um, how does this look? I think this is this is good. The problem up here is, is like we're gonna have a little bit of lower damage. I really need to focus him. I'm just gonna focus him. She's gonna hit him, causing him to counter. So we're good on that. Uh, she's gonna focus him too, and then she's gonna heal. So hopefully we can uh, survive what's going on there. Um, so let's just get in there. Uh, this is what happens on everything when you wait to put off everything to the last minute. Like <laughs> nothing goes the way it's supposed to go. Um, so yeah, let's see. I really need to have more effectiveness on my Alencia uh, for moments like these, but I never like. I'm bringing her here as like a, well, she can kind of strip rather than like as a dedicated stripper, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so I never, well, okay, that's great. I never bring her into anything that's like, oh, I, I need to strip or I lose. It's kind of the way I treat that. Uh, okay, so that Charles is, I think we're just going to outgear this team more than anything else. Um, and then hopefully we get this debuff on us. Uh, and I can counter. Okay, cool. Uh, the defense break. Okay. So what I do here, what you do here is you is you do this instead. You do the S1 because you really need to take that defense break off of you. Unfortunately, everybody else has it, which is also pretty annoying. Uh, thankfully, we're all very tanky, so that's cool. Uh, and that's what I was, you know, that's why I like that, so... Uh, you want to take that into that. Let's hit you with this. If you just die, come on, come on, come on. You know you want to. Wow, I got the counter attack. Please don't die. Oh my gosh. We have to see because uh, his second attack will proc after. Okay, so that's good. Uh, there's not much I can do here, uh, honestly. Um, I'm going to burn the S3 to get her a turn cycle. 
get these two debuffs off her, get her the S3. Yeah, because she was going to be the one that was going to get hit. And then I need this. Okay, so we should be good now. Theoretically, anyway. Oh, she's still defense broken. Oh, no, she's not. Okay. So that, so that was kind of the way, yeah, that was why I did that. Um, so this was kind of risky because of uh, Champion Zerato was going to be a huge pain no matter what. Come on, please die already. Thank you. Oh, he's not dead, dude. He's not dead. Oh. <laughs> How much HP does he have? That's what I want to know. Uh, from, there we go. So there's that. Okay. So fortunately, we so this is kind of what saved us here. If we didn't get if that if for S two didn't um, revert itself, then you know we would have been in trouble. But uh, it did. So that was cool. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, so yeah. So like I said, uh, if it weren't for the fact that uh, Momo's uh, fifty fifty, the coin flip uh, came in favor of us, uh, we probably would have been in some serious trouble there. But we're not. So that was cool. Uh, I think I mean one of the biggest things is that SSB has like an insane amount of resistance, and I th uh, resistance a insane amount of effectiveness. And I think the 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 bottom line was I really should have attacked the SS. I, I should have focused the SSB first, um, because she has so low HP. And look at that; she has nine thousand HP. <clears throat> That's nothing. Uh, <coughs> I don't know where that's coming from. But uh, yeah, so there's this. Okay, so we're doing pretty good here. Let's get the defense buff up and get him to start. Well, doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really matter. We'll just hit Ken. Like Ken, not like it's just hilarious because Ken not only gets countered currently by Crow, right? He also. Uh, gets you know everybody everybody who's coming out with AOEs these days you know Athletica, um, what's his name Pavel and then the new the new guy the new girl, they're all like oh they don't proc counter attacks which you know for one so that's already hilarious but not only that we're all everybody's running around with um is going to be running around with ML Crow which also um, doesn't crit on Ken and it AOEs him. And like I said, it works kind of like an execute. Like when he's under eight thousand, he's just gonna die. And I think, like right now, I think he might just be under eight thousand. Uh, funnily enough. So yeah, it's uh, poor Ken these days, man. Look, he's under eight thousand. You see, like he would have been dead. Uh, something I want to point out, and I'm, probably, I'm not gonna make a whole video about it, just because obviously it's not really worth doing. But it's something that I I had forgotten because I don't play a lot of RTA, even though I should, right? Because uh, the season. Just started and I need to get that uh, Athletica skin, even though I'm never gonna get an Athletica. Um, but, but um, what was I on about? I forgot what I was on about. Let's see if this kills him. It did, unfortunately. Well, I guess we're all kind of decent, except for SSB. She might die. But anyway, uh, for those of you who watched Shuffle's um, tier list video. Uh, You'll know that um, what's, uh, I, for, I had forgotten about something very important in my uh, when I talked about Crow because I was just talking about Crow and the and the you know you you kind of you know talk about these things in whether applicable to you and I had forgotten that uh, RTA is something that uh, is a, is a thing that people actively engage in right uh, but anyway the bottom line was that uh, you can use ML Crow. In RTA, and here's the deal. Oh no! I, well, there goes my attacks. Eight to two in the morning. So that maintenance is six hours long, and uh, yeah, maintenance is six hours long. And um, oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> and we have eight hours or seven hours left on on. Uh, on Guild Wars, <laughs> I guess the question is, do I want to come back in five hours, which for me, or six hours, is two in the morning, get my, finish off whatever attacks I have left, <laughs> and go on. Um, I really don't want to, but, you know, hopefully my guild doesn't, like, kick me for not for missing Guild War, and uh, hopefully you guys don't mind a 10-minute uh, uh, Guild War video, so... 
There's that. Uh, all I wanted to say, I guess, as a closing thought, as we look at the um, maintenance screen here, is uh, I guess as a bonus add-on to the crowd video I made in RTA, the frenzy makes him such a safe pick for AOE nuking. It's not even funny because sure, the frenzy reduces his HP, which means that um, the the damage you'll be doing with it is not going to um, the damage you're going to be doing with it. Is going to be reduced, but like again, it's only 10% of your, or what is it, 10%? A certain amount of your HP, but it's never going to be like nothing. But the thing is, Frenzy also reduces the enemy's HP, and because his AoE horse now penetrates, well, it's always penetrated defense, but it's an AoE defense penetration, a, uh, uh, defense stacking is not viable to keep you safe from him, and he's going to have more HP than the people you want to kill on their side, right? So, like, take a, yeah, not to mention, if you get to the point where Frenzy is a big deal, right, he's already doing more damage because of the scaling from the thing. So he has attack scaling, which, like I said, which is why maybe running, if you can manage it, uh, a 250 speed, maybe drop him down to 220, something like that, right? 220, like, over 200. I think 220 is the minimum. 220 to 250 is what you want. But 220 to 250 speed, like, 25k HP... And maybe if you can if you can muster it like three hundred three thousand attack, because uh, that attack is gonna help him scale into frenzy when you're playing RTA and like once you're in like one or two stacks you're just gonna wipe an entire team like if they make it that long period right, uh, so that's, that's that's one thing I wanted to mention just the fact that he penetrates defense the only real like scaling um, tank stat in in RTA uh, is not useless because of Kraus S three. But uh, also, like like I said, people are like, oh, well, his HP, the HP scaling is going to go down and he's not going to do as much damage. I mean, it is it's not going to do as much damage. But again, you're, you're, like, your HP is going gonna, is gonna to go down less than the enemy's HP. Like a unit who has, what, 12, like, you know, a tanky unit, 16 HP or 1600 HP or something like that. It's going to go down a lot faster than what you're running your crowd at at, at 250, uh, 250 HP or 250... 25k HP, um, but yeah, that's the only one. That's the point I want to make. Like, obviously, we won't know until we start testing, and then again, you know, you know, stay tuned for like shuffles tournaments. Uh, they're they're a pretty good indication of where units are right now and and what's viable and whatnot. I mean, for one for one thing, I think and he I think he mentions it. I think he's mentioned it before. There's something to consider that like just because you don't see it there doesn't mean it's not good. Like just because you're 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 looking at these RTA tournaments and it's like, uh, oh that you know. I don't see this unit anywhere. It's not necessarily that it's not good. Um, a lot of times it is, right? Uh, you know, the people at the high end kind of know what's good for RTA and what's not, and they'll build accordingly. Uh, but sometimes, like, you won't see a unit that you're like, "Well, I really feel like this should be there," uh, and they might, and the the people up there might agree with you uh, that that they should be there. But like, you know, we're we're missing Mulligora. We're missing uh, what's it called? Uh, you know, we're missing just a bunch of resources, a bunch of extra gear sets to put on here. Um, so so keep that in mind. Uh, those tournaments are good indications of of what good units are right now, but just because you don't see one there doesn't mean you might never see one there, and and that's something to consider. Um, but yeah, so I mean, you know, like I said, take a look at that. Keep an eye out for the for that tournament uh, once crowd has been released. See how see how, see how he performs. Uh, but I like that was something that I had totally forgotten was the idea that um, was the, the, the well, what's going on here uh, was the concept that uh, I guess we can just go look at these patch notes. I mean. I don't really do these note review things uh, too much, but I mean, I guess as long as we're not doing anything else. Um, but the fact that you have, for one, pe uh, health, uh, defense penetration in arena in RTA, uh, along with the fact that you know frenzy not only does that but also boosts your damage. So you're gonna be, like I said, you're gonna be executing people. Like that AOE is you know crowd depending on how uh, how well he's balanced. Is going to be, you know, a force to be reckoned with uh, down there in um, in RTA, I think. Uh, so yeah, you know, keep an keep an eye out for him. Is all I got to say. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, so is this all that's being patched in? Uh, Three point two. The only thing I want out of the only thing that's interesting about the new the new place is actually that uh, we're getting a new. Um, that defense boot, no, that 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 HP set boot with HP as the main stat looks pretty good because I need, 
Uh, I need. I have. I, I'm using the HP set helmet from the previous uh, the the three dash one um, on my Rowana, and I kind of want that uh, health boot on my um, on my Rowana as well. So just have her have those because. Uh, Rowana just needs to sit there. Like you're, if you're putting Rowana on Rowana on any team anywhere, uh, you're just gonna you're just sitting there and hoping RNG is in your favor. Like they get a bunch of random dual attacks. Uh, I think you know, like we've all uh, experienced in regular arena. Um, yeah, like you dual attack four times in a row and no one has like a dual attack set or anything. Anyway, um, yeah. So you know, I think I'm just gonna run her with a health boot just because she just needs to sit there and have her passive do all the work. Um. Yeah, I mean that's that's basically all there is to it. Uh, that's kind of the only thing I'm excited about for 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 this here. Uh, of course, Crow. I mean, obviously. Uh, I forgot what his artifact did, but I just remember looking at it and going, "Yeah, I mean, it's all right." Um. Again, you know, artifacts like they're not that. It's hard to it's hard to be excited about artifacts because of how hard it is to limit break them. Um. Manica of Control, which one was this one? I forgot who this one was for. Oh no, yeah, okay, so th this is the one from here, yeah. Uh, Ludwig, uh, don't pull for Ludwig, please. I have him, <laughs> he's just sitting there. Uh, yeah, th please don't do that. Um, this is pretty cool. Uh, do is she gonna see a lot of play in anything? Probably not, but it's always like, it's always a good feeling to have a plus 15 unit. And if they're giving you one for free, that's awesome. Like, you know, yeah, that's, that's really cool. Um, my my asthmatic team is it works 100 percent of the time well let's say 99 percent of the time because I, I have had one fail like randomly out of nowhere uh but it works like 99 percent of the time uh but i really need it to work faster and uh yeah i mean yeah i mean it's about it i really need it to work faster uh and hopefully uh she will help with that i hear she's pretty good with that i'm not I'm not entirely sure. Like I said, I, I they they were asking me to put Molagoras into her in a game where um, Smilegate is constantly shafting us for more for Molagora, uh, and I was just like, nope, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, the three I get from I got from that path is better than um, having her at plus anything at all, really. Uh, but yeah, so you know, it's always good to have a plus fifteen unit. Like, not only I mean for us, right? Like at the end, at, we're I would say like we're like upper end or lower end game because. Right, there's end game, mid game, and early game. Early game and mid gamers might enjoy her, uh, but end gamers, there's yeah. So there's there's early, mid, and end. Right, those are the three denominations. Um, and I would consider myself and and maybe a few other people peepers, yeah, peepers, a few other people uh, end game. Um, but then there's you know you have to remember there's a dom denomination of like lower end and higher end, and we're not higher end because what separates lower end and higher end is um money really <laughs> uh so higher end led uh, higher end uh, end game players are people who are who are not only in the end game but also paid or have also paid money into the game so that their end game like profits that they're making are are just boosted almost exponentially um whereas you know I, i'm assuming most of the people on this channel are lower end end gamers but we we don't have enough money to like go one step further beyond right we don't have the money to sustain constant leaf burning uh constant you know crystal burning and all that kind of stuff so that's something to consider uh, but anyway back to the tiaria point while uh losing tiaria while getting tiaria it might be good for lower end and mid gamers i, I think you know obviously for higher end gamers it's not uh, higher end players it's not that big a deal uh, but it will be fun to just have another unit that like for one I gave her the gear set they gave us from the adventurers path that like came with her. Um, so there you go. She's basically there. I think the uh, free tiers here and gear. I think what they should have done was also give you the resources in that thing to boost her gear. Like they should have given her like gear, like not that it only works on her, but gear that's like oh you can only upgrade it through the adventurers path. Will give you like a special charm or something, and you can boost it. So you, like this way they walk you through boosting a character from from zero to plus 15 fully geared now granted they give you like 70 gear level 75 or level 70 gear or some something like that um but you know it, it's good to, for you to see and know and have like a standard of like all right so my characters um to see where they go like from 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 being basically nothing to you know completed 
um, even though it's like a smaller scaled down version of what completed uh, normally is. Uh, update, blah, 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 a bunch of other stuff, and I guess that's, that's about it. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go through it. We're going to have a 20-minute video, and I haven't actually said anything or done anything. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, like I said, um, like the boot from here and, and um, Crow is obviously here. I'm not going to summon on Crow because I don't have, I don't really want Ray because I already have um, DJ Basar. Uh, so it's cool because if I don't want Ray, I can skip the first rotation, which is like the... Like if there's something irresistible in the first rotation, which I think at this point there's... I can't really think of like what unit would have to be in Ray's position as the five-star RGB to be like, okay, I need to pull... If I'm pulling on Crow... It needs to be during this rotation. Um, yeah, I really don't know who it would be that would like cause me to go there. But like, it's always bad when the first rotation is that. And for me, seeing as it's Ray at the beginning, uh, it's really not that big a deal. Uh, so, fortunately, I get to wait till uh, like the week after to see who's after Ray. Well, actually, when he comes in today, I'll see who's after Ray next week. Uh, make it make a decision there but i can wait till next week and be like okay so do i want second rotation or third rotation um if i can wait off for second rotation honestly you know we should all be pulling on like as a free-to-play person and as someone yeah as, as a free-to-play you really need to be able to like manage your um your excitement for pulling everything every time you pull should be near the end of the rotation like every time if you're gonna pull an ml unit it should always be um at the during the last rotate during the last week where you know what's coming ahead um every time you summon for a unit like this time uh i didn't summon for shu which i think you know it's fine um i don't think i'll miss her too much uh what's his name shuffles has her uh ranked like s tier if you saw his video i might make like a video kind of talking about that uh tier list from like uh, a lower end pr perspective because uh, obviously he's like you know high legend like you know at the very tip of the end game there um sort of tip of the spear <laughs> cracking my ass um uh, for those of you who've seen um what's that movie edge of tomorrow anyway uh but yeah i might make like a video just talking about like from from down here perspective but anyway uh shu he put her pretty high like i think it was double s or s um and, and i don't think that's too wrong uh I just I didn't pull on her because I didn't think like you know I was like whatever her which, which she has to offer isn't as as, as important as I really uh, cared about too much but the combination between her and um, Maid Chloe is hard to deny because I mean you can you know revival plus the crit chance debuff and the attack buff you can do that now with DN and Maid Chloe but you're over you're like doubling up on the attack buff which is kind of dumb uh, but the fact you can do them both is is actually pretty good um, but yeah so that you know like I said. Uh, for those of you who summoned her, by, by all means. Um, but like Crow, like I would have summoned on Crow, and then the new unit would have come out, and it would have been limited, and I would have been like, oh, well, I'm out of luck. Uh, so I waited till till the end, and uh, the patience was rewarded, so now I'm just going to blow everything on the limited unit. Um, I don't think she's going to be like, I mean, she's not going to be an SSB, I don't think. I think she, so for those of you who, who are kind of predicting, who want to think about where she's going, um, I really think, uh, let's go see what happens if we, we actually get out of here. Uh, I really think that she's going to be like a new uh, a new Cerise in a lot of ways. Oh, okay, I guess my sound's back on for some reason. I really think she's going to be like a very similar, like a new Cerise in a lot of ways, where Cerise kind of just comes in, uh, is really fast, disrupts, and takes multiple turns. Um, that's kind of what I see her doing. Uh, she comes in S3s. If they have a bunch of buffs, she's going to S3 again. Uh, and she's gaining attack every every turn. Now she can't. Uh, she doesn't have CC. Like, yeah, she's gonna be like a more damage oriented Cerise. Is kind of what I'm thinking. Just like constantly taking turns. S3. Uh, hopefully you start to turn. Uh, hopefully, and then you know, not to mention she's got an arc. She's got a um, a Ranger Alexa's basket, which you know, <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. Um, but anyway, turn one greater attack buff into s3 which is uh fully stacked because you probably have buffs on your team like immortality and shields and whatnot so she hits that gains a 10 percent attack boost uh gives herself a 15 percent um cr push she's going to be the fastest unit probably in the, if you're trying to build her uh and then you're going to come back and do it again and nobody can counter attack um so yeah i think uh i think she has the potential to be kind of 
just a damage dealy uh, Cerise AOE. Uh, and if you ever need to, then of course you've got the S1 to like help cycle. Uh, what artifact do I think she should run? Um, not that anybody asked. I mean, I asked myself, I guess. I mean, I, I, I'm asking, I guess, in the third person or in the first person, because uh, I, I ask myself these, the same question. Um, it, it seems kind of cut and dry to run her artifact, just because for one, it gives her the great attack buff, and then, you know, um, another another bit of CR on top of her 15% CR, so it's like 25, she's already a quarter of the way there in the next turn. Um, that's like not even including, like, imagine opening with her and then like a DJ Basar. She's already halfway through the attack bar, and she's probably going to overlap some of your guys for a second S3, and then that's not counting the other two units on your team, right? Um, you know, yeah. So it's very interesting. Uh, if anything, maybe you could run over like a DJ Basar or or some other pusher. I mean, any other pusher I think would be fine. Um, but yeah, so, you know, it's interesting. Um, interesting to say, not, to, to say the least. One of the things I was kind of wondering about her was maybe like, you know, with Elfelt's artifact to give her a defense break on the S1, that'd be kind of interesting. But like I'm like I'm saying now, um, you're going to S3 and then hopefully, you know, you started off the turn with max stacks because of the, the buffs. Um, so you can just S3 again on her turn again and maybe just keep S3ing, hopefully. Um, I mean, not, not <laughs> depending on what side you're on, right? If you're If you're fighting against her, then hopefully she doesn't. But if you're fighting as her, using her, then... Uh, I think hopefully at the minimum you'll get two S3s off and that will be not enough, but I think it'll like chunk people for a decent amount. Especially like, like can you imagine this? Like her opening into DJ Basar, into like an RB. Oh no, well I guess her, DJ Basar, and then uh, DJ Basar into um, Crow. Uh, and then, you know, just anybody else in there, like an, like I said, like an Arby at the end or something like that. Um, yeah, that would be like, that's a, that's a lot of damage to take turn one on a, on a really fast team and, and, and not to mention uh, decently tanky. Um, another artifact that she might be, she might want to run might be like Cerise's artifact, the one that gives her like stealth or something, um, just to make sure she doesn't die. Uh, but I don't know. I don't actually know how that works, and I obviously can't go into the journal right now. <laughs> I don't, but I don't remember how that one works. I just remember there's an artifact out there that gives uh, her, <laughs> um, what's it called, stealth. Uh, but yeah, so there's that. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, there's not a whole lot else uh, I can tell you. Um, I'm gonna be pulling for her. Hopefully, I get her soon. I don't know if I'll. I don't think I really. I don't really think I want to pull uh, more than one copy. It's going to be a, a huge, I mean, cost in my resources. Um, hopefully I can just get her in one copy and then just dip. Because uh, I'm interested in that new, that other one that's, that, like, I think it, for, for those of you who maybe have seen, like, the Mango video, um, there's another girl in there, too, that's new. Um, yeah, so hopefully, you know, we get some news on her and, and maybe I can save and, and pull her. Um but uh, it is gonna hurt. It is, well, it's not gonna hurt. It's already it's already happened. But <laughs> it does kind of hurt that I didn't get to pull for uh, uh, Kron for another year in a row. So there's that. It'd be pretty cool if he comes out in the Mystic rotation. I don't know if he has come out, but do uh, you imagine like Last Rider Crow with uh, with Kron in the Mystic rotation? Oh man, that would be amazing. Like that would be that would probably be like the one that's like if it's next week, <laughs> I'm screwed because I have to pull on that. Um. But yeah, I mean, other than that, uh, it's not a whole lot else I need in this game. Uh, but yeah, so, like I said, uh, good luck out there. Uh, hopefully <laughs> you guys didn't wait to the last minute uh, to do Guild War. Uh, hopefully you guys get the new unit quickly. Uh, you get her artifact. Like I said, the artifact doesn't look insanely good. It doesn't look like the best artifact ever. Um, but, you know, who knows? It could be very strong on her. Um, and, you know, you know, who knows what other unit it could be very strong on. Um, yeah, I was thinking about maybe running it on like SSB, but I think like the thing about SSB is that like she, she like, I don't know if the, the greater attack increase is going to outweigh the fact that 30% of your attack is just penetrating defense for free, uh, especially with how, you know, defense is, is uh, boosting these days with 90 gear and all that. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, like I said, I've already tried to end the video twice. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. That'll be it for today, I guess. You just <laughs> one Guild War fight. I don't imagine it'd be very interesting anyway, considering like 
we're so low <laughs> the killed rankings we're just basically stomping these guys out uh but yeah it kind of sucks to be missing out on those mystic medals but you know it is what it is um yeah yep that's it so you know see you guys around